Hi there and welcome to Heartman, Grandpa, and a YouTube. So yeah, one of my kids called me Heartman Grandpa, so I thought it would be a good label for these YouTubes, which I'm going to do. The first of, this is the first of what might be a series of YouTubes that I'm going to try and put together. And they're just simply for amateurs like me and people who like to play for their friends, uh, jam with a buddy, play around the campfire. Uh, just having fun with your harmonica. If, like, if you're a professional or you have aspirations to be on stage, then you probably should look for somebody else. Uh, these are just fun things to do. And, and what I can assure you is they're not instruction. There's all sorts of great instruction online. In fact, maybe in a future YouTube, I'll do a review of the instruction that's online for you. But uh, no, mine are nothing but instruction. They're just about ways that you can have some fun with your heart. Um, so with the first of these, uh, it, by the way, again, none of which will be on how to play. Uh, the first is going to be to try and save you some money. So no matter who you are, I don't care if you're a pro or just a hobbyist like me, at some point you have to buy a new harp. Either one of your collection is on its way to harmonica heaven, or you've learned to play on your first C and you're now ready to expand playing for other keys, so you want to fill that suitcase full of other keys so you can play with, with your friends in a broader array of keys. Now, in the old days, I would have just recommended a Lee Oscar or Honor Special 20. They're great, versatile harps, and, and they're very popular, and, and I got a, a bunch of those, and, and they last a long time, especially the Lee Oscars. I got some 20, 25 years old, and they're just fine. But now they run $70 or more Canadian. All my prices are in Canadian, by the way. You can check your own pricing uh, Amazon on your own currency. I think $70 Canadian is probably about $4 US. Uh, joke. There is, that's a lot, but that doesn't matter what it is. That's a lot for a hobbyist like me. So I, I started to wonder if any of the lesser cost harps on the market today could replace my Lee Oscars or my special 20s. So to save you the cost uh, and the effort of trying them, I decided to pick a few to play and review and I bought them on Amazon. And I'm going to review them for you today, see if uh, any of them are any good, see if they can replace my Special 20 or my Lee Oscar. So the most expensive one I got is the Suzuki. Uh, it's uh, I got it $37 Canadian delivered. It's made in Japan. It's not their most expensive model. Uh, I think they've got some some bigger ones. Like I, I've read online that their Manji is a terrific heart. Uh, at any rate, the, that's the first one. The second one is the East Top, a great big company in Japan that makes all sorts of harmonicas. I picked just their, their $30 blues harmonica. And the third uh, is a Fender, uh, $15. Ah, well, no, heck, let's try a $15 one. Uh, you know, it, I could go to the dollar store, I guess, and get one for three bucks. How come everything in the dollar store is three dollars? I mean, anyhow, that's another story. The third one I picked is a $15 one from China. Uh, and uh, uh, we'll give all three of these a go. Um, by the way, the Totombo is made in Japan, the Lee Oscar Tom, by Tombo, and the Special 20 is made in Germany. But anyhow, for each one I'll play a short piece, uh, maybe something in first position, blue scale in second position, try a few notes up in the top and third position, and maybe throw in a couple of riffs on the Lee Oscar or something for sound comparison. As I play, you can fill out this chart. So give each a score of 10 on feel and appearance, tone, bending, melody playing. At the end of the testing, I'll fill in the chart as well and explain my scores. Now you can skip the testing if you want and you can go right to my conclusion. So go to, go to here. Anyhow, let's, uh, let's do the test. So how about some testing? I just start, I'll play a little piece on each one. I'll play a, a melody and then I'll play some a blue scale so you can test out some bending and see what it sounds and bluesy. And I'll do each one of them sequentially, and then you can see whether you, they sound any different to you. So, start with the Fender, right? Okay, that's Fender. Now we'll take the East Top. This is the... $30 
Chinese one. So I'm not in a recording studio here, so I'm not sure you can tell the difference, and it is a little echoey, but there, there is a difference there. So let's try the Suzuki little melody. Okay, so you can put in your mark for, for uh, tone, you know, how it plays a melody. We'll talk about how each one feels later on. So let's try something else in the Fender. We'll try maybe a blues scale here. Okay, everything bent. Let's try a little more bending here. That's the Fender. So there's a... the fender. Let's try the E stop. Draw up there, but let's try the Suzuki. Okay, that's the played a little bit upper there, a little challenge, but those are the the three of them. Did you find any difference between the three of them in the sound? Uh, I could play a little more, but let's move on and uh, let's actually rate them for playability, from at least from what I played. And I have been playing all three of them for a while, so I uh, got them a couple of weeks ago, so I've been practicing. So let's uh, stop now, and we'll now go to my scores on how I rate these three harmonicas. Okay, let's do uh, let's do our review then of the three. And I, there's my chart. I put my chart up uh, so you can see where I scored these. First is the Fender. Uh, feel solid, no problem, like all of them. They have a plastic comb, uh, so then it's not going to expand when it gets wet. A plastic, you want a plastic comb. Covers are solid. Uh, doesn't seem to have any air gaps. A pretty solid harp. I just picked this up. I certainly wouldn't know that it was a $15 harp. It played just a little differently. Uh, I think it, it had it, the bends were just a little tougher, maybe. Uh, and it sounded just a little tinny, but look, as a as a practice harmonica, uh, you're practicing your bends. You're going to ruin a, a, a you know hundred dollar harmonica pretty fast. Practice it on something like this and, and the others. We're going to get to in a minute. This is a great one. Throw it in your backpack. Take it to the camping trip in the Rocky Mountains. Play with your friends around the campfire. They, uh, the who cares if a Bigfoot eats it? You know this is this is fifteen dollars. You'll have you no big loss. This is also the one I'm going to give to my grandchildren. They can. They can blow it full of uh, chewed up Cheerios and I don't really care. I can take it apart and clean it. $15, pretty good practice harmonica for that value. I don't, I don't have a problem with it. By the, by the way, this is, and John Harper plays one of these too, so he must have some special deal with Fender. It's the East Top. Uh, this is one that Brendan Power apparently has some, some partnership with them. Uh, good, no problem at all. Uh, it, it, it sounded a little, a little harsher and a little louder than the Fender, but playability, no problem. The, the bends were really good on this one. I had no trouble. And the six band is no problem at all. So, you know, I really don't have a problem with this one. It's pretty little harmonica too, uh, blue and, and brown. But, so it, it worked fine. Again, just a, maybe a little loud and a tinnier sound. 
The Suzuki is different. It's got the different cover. So the cover goes all the way across, which is very different than, than the traditional harp, where the cover doesn't go all the way across. I, I found this one the easiest to play, quite frankly, and, and it had a, had a, a softer, uh, a, a gentler sound to it. So I'll... I mean, it, it, was e it seemed to be easy to play. I, I just could flow over top of the notes easier enough. This would be my pick of the three. Um, the big question is, how do they rank up against the Lee Oscar and the Special 20? Well, I, I will tell you, I don't think they, they do. Uh, in terms of bending, upper register, you know, my Lee Oscar and my Special 20, maybe just because I'm used to them, I do play them better but not a whole lot. And remember, I'm of a, not of a great skill level. So uh, I think these three are all really good value. Uh, you know, for $37, half the price of the Oscar, it's pretty good stuff. So uh, my advice, uh, get some of these, use them as practice harps, use them as one you throw in your backpack, uh, use the one you give to your grandkids. I don't care. Uh, but I, I was very pleasantly surprised with all three of these as an alternative to my Lee Oscar uh, or my uh, uh, or my special 20. Uh, so there you go. Uh, maybe save you a little money. Uh, go have some fun. Uh, I'll see you next time. I'm going to do some other videos. You can see the list uh, of the videos that I'm going to try and put up at the end of this uh, as well as my email. So you can connect me to me by email. Send me a note if you want. Uh, and uh, uh, harp on. Blow suck, blow suck, blow suck, suck, blow, guys. Have fun. Talk to you later.